Midterm, midterm campaign season is in full swing right now, but there is one race out in the eastern part of the state that really could be historic. And as Chris Conti shows us, it has nothing to do with Democrats or Republicans, but rather age. Fall on Vanderbilt's campus typically ushers in change. My definition of college experience is probably different than most. But the change Matthew Huffer is trying to bring in has nothing to do with the weather. A midterm in the American presidency course. In the height of midterm season, most students here are focused on beating exams. These are some of our signs that we've been putting all over the district. Matthew, though, is focused on beating a two-term incumbent. I sat and thought, well, I know I want to go into politics, so why not do it now? He is officially registered as a Democrat. I've largely been focusing on uh, going door to door. If he wins on November 4th, though, it will not be his party affiliation people pay attention to. I am 21 years old. I'm a junior. At 21 years old, Matthew would be the youngest person currently serving in the Tennessee State House. He knows the odds are not necessarily in his favor. When I went into this, I thought they were very slim. Um, but after we've got it started, I've actually gotten a lot of support from both parties. Matthew, though, says a subpar education system in his hometown and part of District 39 has pushed him into this decision. And there's no turning back now. My hometown high school has no AP classes at all, and it's the only public school in this entire county. They say all politics is local, and this college junior is hoping that will work in his favor. It has been a struggle, but it's more, been more training, I think, than anything. And it Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.